Okay, so let's look at this other example, again, involving vapor pressure, rates law, and all the good stuff. Now, in this case, the task is, let me go to the full screen mode. The task is to determine the molecular weight, all right? So that is basically what the question is asking for. It's asking for the molecular weight of the solute. It gives you some important information here. It gives you the mass of the solute, 96 grams, and it also tells you that the solute is non-volatile, right? It also says that the solute is non-dissociating, very important. And it gives you also the moles of the solvent, which is toluene, 5.25 moles. It gives you the vapor pressure of the solution, which is 0.161 atmospheres. And it also gives you the vapor pressure of pure toluene. So I'm just underlining the important information here, all right? Okay, so first thing I would do is what I did in the previous example. I'd write down an expression for the total vapor pressure of the solution. Now that would be equal to um, the vapor pressure of one component plus the vapor pressure of the other con component. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to label um, component A as being toluene, which is a solvent, and component B is the solute. All right, we don't know what the solute is. All we know is that the solute is non-volatile and non-dissociated, all right? Okay, so speaking of non-volatile, since we know that the solute is non-volatile, that means that the vapor pressure of that solute would be zero. If it is non-volatile, it doesn't produce any vapors, and therefore does not produce any vapor pressure. So therefore this simplifies this equation to PT is equal to PA, all right? And therefore we know that according to Reynolds law, um, PA would be equal to the mole fraction of A in the mixture times the vapor pressure of pure A, which is of course the solvent toluene, all right? Um, now, based on that fact, we can find out what the mole ratio is. Um, because we know what PT is, we know what the vapor pressure of pure A is, which is toluene, so therefore we can find out what the mole fraction is. So the mole fraction here, in this case, whoops, that's too large, is equal to PT divided by PA pure. So we put the numbers in, PT, which is the total um, pressure, according to the question, that is equal to 0 0.161 atmospheres. And the vapor pressure of pure A is given as 0 0.184 atmospheres. And when I worked this out, the answer I got is 0 0.875, which of course has no units, 875, because the atmosphere units will cancel out there and there, all right? Okay, now the mole fraction, by definition, is the total number of moles of, well, it's the number of moles of A divided by the total number of moles, right? That's by definition. And we can expand this further to say that the mole fraction is equal to the number of moles of toluene A divided by the number of moles of A plus the number of moles of B, right? The key thing at this juncture is that we need to find out what the number of moles of B is. Because remember, the question is asking for the molecular weight of the solute. We need the moles of the solute in order to determine the molecular weight. So this involves some algebraic rearrangement. And I won't go through all the steps because I'm assuming that you all have done algebra before. So basically, this can be rearranged to get NB is equal to, I'm sorry, NB plus NA. No, I'm sorry. NB is equal to NA over 0 0.875 minus NA. And then when I put the number in for NA, which is the number of moles of the solvent, that would be equal to 5.25 moles minus 0 0.875 moles 
or 875 mil units, minus 5.25 moles. And when you work that out, according to my calculation, that gives you the number of moles of the solute as being equal to 0 0.750 moles, all right? So now that we have the moles, we can find out what the molar mass is. The molar mass will be equal to the mass in grams of the solute, which is 96.0 grams, divided by the moles, which is 0 0.750 moles. And when I did that calculation, I got 128 grams per mole. So that would be the molar mass. But remember, the question is asking for the molecular mass. So therefore, the molecular mass is equal to 128 AMU. Because if you recall, especially if you have had me before in Chem 1, you would know that the molar mass and the molecular mass are numerically the same, but the difference between them would be their units. Okay, so that's basically another example um, utilizing, you know, what we learned with respect to vapor pressure and um, Rayleigh's law and all of that. Okay, so that's it for this video. Until next time.